Do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's defense against the dark arts, Harry, with Gilderoy and Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the dark arts class. Assistant Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spell book somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spell book in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. Already off without even listening.
a spell challenge. Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. First duelist to gain five points wins the duel. Cross the line and you lose a point. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three... Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three.
Potter. Ready to continue our winning streak from last year. I'm certain we're good enough, but we're definitely going to have to practice a lot harder. No time like the present, so let's have a run through of the basics. When you fly through a ring, it adds to your broom's magical charge and increases its speed. Likewise, missing a ring decreases the charge. Your broom's halfway charged. Keep it up. Your broom's now fully charged and you can boost. You can tell when you're ready to boost by the trail of sparks coming from your broom. training as well, they've agreed to take part in a practice yeah. game with us. You'll have to compete against their seeker now, but I'm sure that'll be no problem for you, Potter. Even Madam Hooch would have to give you a good grade. Don't let Professor McGonagall find out, but here, take this broom and get in as much practice as you can.
there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker after his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. There are some wizards, like Malfoy's family, who think they're better than everyone else. Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Uh, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. That's one.